Today I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel for free. And not just Excel, but all other Office apps like Word, PowerPoint, even Outlook. And we're also going to cover what you're missing out on when you're using the free version of Excel compared to a paid Microsoft 365 subscription. This way you can decide for yourself if a subscription makes sense for you or not. With the free version of Excel, you'll essentially use Excel for the web. I'm going to show you in a second how this looks like, but first let's cover how you can access it. All you need is an internet connection. With your browser of choice, just navigate to office.com and click on sign in. Enter the information and password for your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can easily create one for free. Just click here. Once you're signed in, it's going to take you to the home screen of Office. In the middle, you'll see your most recent documents as well as pinned documents and items that are shared with you. On the left, you have all the apps that you have access to. These include classical Office apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint to Outlook, OneNote and Skype, all available to you for free. But let's check out Excel. Click on the icon on the left and let's create a new workbook by clicking on the plus here. This opens Excel for the web. As you can see, it looks a lot like the Excel desktop app. It has the look and feel of the Excel we all know, and it offers almost all the major features you have on desktop version. Best part is you have access to the most recent functions, functions like XLOOKUP, SORT, FILTER, UNIQUE, and LET. These will make your data analysis and preparation so much easier. You can also create pivot tables on your data set and quickly analyze your data without having to write a single formula. You can also visualize your data with charts. Obviously, because it's online, you need to be connected to the internet. You can't do any offline editing. So if you want to edit an existing file that you saved locally, you'll have to upload it first. You can easily do that by clicking upload and open. Now, the main advantage of working online is better collaboration. You and others can edit the same document with co-authoring and all changes are going to be reflected in real time. Now, speaking of changes in Excel for the web, all of the changes you make are auto saved. Now this can take some time getting used to because for me, I had a bad habit of opening finalized files, doing some tests on them, and then closing them without saving because I didn't want to make changes to the finalist file. I had to teach myself to save a copy or create a copied version for testing when I'm using Excel on the web. Fortunately, you can also easily restore older versions of the file by going to info and then selecting previous versions. So why would you need the paid version of Excel? What's missing in Excel for the web? Let's cover the main topics. Number one, data import and data transformation. Probably the biggest difference between paid and free is the ability to import, clean and transform data. I'm a huge fan of Get and Transform, also known as Power Query. This for me is one of the best features in Excel. It's like an instant miracle cure to your difficult data analysis problems. You can quickly combine and consolidate large data sets from different sources. You can convert downloads from ERP systems or messy data into information you can use and replace complex formulas with just a few clicks. Unfortunately, in the online version, this functionality is completely missing. There is currently no possibility to import from external sources like CSV or text files or other database files. So unfortunately, no Power Query in the free version. What's available though are data types, so at least you can import stock prices and geography data. Number two, Excel, VBA, and macros. VBA and macros are tools that many Excel users rely on when it comes to automating tasks or creating professional Excel applications. But this code was developed for desktop solutions and it doesn't work for Excel on the web. Now you can still access spreadsheets with macros using Excel online, 
but you can't run any macros. So this is mean that you can't automate any of your repetitive tasks in Excel for the web? Not quite. You have to go about it in a different way. And here is another difference to the paid version. If you have a 365 business subscription and you access Excel for the web, you're going to see an additional tab that's not there in the free version, automate. Now you will only see this though, if the functionality was made available by your global admin. If it's available for you, you can create automations with office scripts. So similar to Excel macros, you have the ability to record your actions or add your own code. The code is called office script and it's written in TypeScript or JavaScript. This is a relatively new feature and it's expanding and getting better with every update. The great thing about office scripts is that it can be run through power automate, which means that your workbook can be updated through scheduled or event driven flows. With VBA, you need to generally open your workbook to run your macro. With Power Automate, you can trigger your workflows without having to open Excel. Number three, graphics and visualization. Excel 365 in the desktop version offers premium visualizations to spice up your spreadsheets. It has a good library of vector graphic icons, which you can find on the insert tab. In addition, you get thousands of royalty-free, high-quality images, cut out people with transparent background in different poses. You also get stickers and other illustrations. None of this is available online, at least not yet. Unfortunately, also 3D models and word art are missing. As for charts, most of the common charts are available also online. You have the usual, 2D column charts, line charts, pie and bar charts, area and scatter charts. On their other charts, you'll find waterfall and even the newer hierarchical charts like tree map and sunburst. You also have conditional formatting functionality, although you can't format values based on a formula like you can in the desktop version. Also, at least not yet. So if you're using a lot of visual elements in your spreadsheets, this may be quite limiting. There are a few other things now I want to mention because they can be quite annoying when you work with the online version. For instance, it doesn't support password protected files. You can open them on the web after entering the password, but you are going to get an error message about unsupported features that looks like this and it's gonna open the file in viewing mode, meaning you can't make any changes to it. There is also a restriction of file size, and if you try to open really large files, you get an error message like this one, informing you that you're gonna to need to open this file in the desktop version. So to summarize, the free Excel for the web offers most features and functions that we're used to from the desktop version. The main differences are the lack of data import and transforming functionality, also the missing automation possibilities. We also have fewer features for data visualization in Excel online. On the plus side though, you get additional collaboration abilities with co-authoring and you get to use Excel, basically most of Excel's features for free. I hope this video was helpful to decide for yourself if Excel for the web may be a possible solution for you. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy what you see here and you're learning something new, consider subscribing to this channel. I'm going to see you in the next video.